Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have another boxy charm unboxing. Before we start though, I have no idea what's going on here. So actually I do. This is my first time in like a decade where I haven't had long hair that's been all one length. So I tried to use my Dyson Airwrap today, the uh, curling tool, and it went, it went a little, it went a little crazy. I don't know what's going on here, but you know, we're just gonna roll with it today. If you're unfamiliar with how I do my BoxyCharm unboxings, here's how it goes down. I'm gonna take a look at last month's box, so that was the March box, and I'm gonna tell you how I use those items throughout the month and whether or not I think the $25 cost of the box was worth it. Then I go into this month's box not really knowing what's inside. Usually, I have my husband take a look inside and he'll tell me what kinds of items are in the box. Like he'll say, there's something for your face, there's something for your eyes, whatever it is. And I know that way what I can come on camera with because then I will put the rest on my face. But he's not here right now. He's at work. So I couldn't even wait. The box isn't even open yet. I have no idea what kinds of items are even in here. Two quick caveats. Number one, I do only use cruelty-free makeup, skincare, hair care products. So if something in the box is not cruelty-free, I'm just gonna put it aside and pass it along to a friend. And number two, if I can take a look at an item and know that I'm gonna use it once for the purpose of this video and then never again, I'm not gonna use it. I don't even wanna test it. I would rather give it away completely new, untouched by these little phalanges. Let's dig into the March box. So first we had the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. I wound up really liking this. Now I'm not somebody who likes the smell of rose water, but this was very subtle. It was not overpowering. It did not smell like the Queen of Hearts just planted an entire rose bush on my face. No, this is actually pretty lovely and it held my makeup on well. So this retails for $22. Would I have paid $22 for this? I'm not sure. I like that I got it in my box. I don't love that Maven Beauty is a brand by Fashion Nova. I'm not very much a fan of Fashion Nova, but I mean, I do like that they're vegan, they're cruelty free. I like all that, but I don't know if I'll buy anything from this brand. Then there was the Cab or KAB lip oil. I've used this a few times and I do enjoy it. What I like this most for is putting on my lips while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. And then honestly, I'll wipe it off right before I put on lipstick. But this does feel nice. And this is a huge tube as well. Now this is, it might look kind of orangey pink in here. There's no color to it at all. It's just a lip oil. If there is any color, it is very, very slight. This retails for $20. I would never pay $20 for this at all. I like it. I will probably use it until it's gone or expired, but I would never pay $20 for this. The Billion Dollar Brows Clear Brow Gel. This thing right here. I hated this. I actually hated this. This, first of all, has such a huge wand. Like this covers easily half of my eyebrow in one stroke. I personally prefer it when the wands are much smaller because that way you can get in there and be precise. You can grab individual brow hairs, whatever you need to do. Also, this left one hell of a white cast. It was nasty. It looked like I actually had dandruff in my eyebrows. And to make matters even worse, it didn't even hold my brows in place. It held them there for like a second and then they would fall back over. So $18, no. And because I used this several times throughout the month, I mean, it has been used. I can see if a friend wants it, but I honestly, I think this is a crap product and I don't even wanna give it to a friend. Then there was the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. I'm so torn on this. So I did use this many times throughout the month. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a pretty significant dent. I enjoyed this, but I definitely don't love it. The formula, I feel like, even though it's called the moisture cream, I feel like it's somewhere in between a cream and a gel moisturizer. And gel moisturizers just don't work with my skin type. They almost make it feel drier. So this, it's just not my favorite formula. Now. I am going to use this till it's gone. Whether I use it on my body, my face, my butt, this would probably make a great butt cream. Who knows, butt cream, yeah. Seriously though, I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm not even gonna give this away. I am gonna use this till it's empty because I enjoy it, but it's just not my favorite. And this retails for 39. I'm not gonna be repurchasing it, but I will use it till it's empty. And finally, there was the Lime Crime Venus 3 eyeshadow palette. I got rid of that as fast as I humanly could. Lime Crime is a brand I personally choose not to use. If you like them, that is wonderful. Applause to you, my friend. I choose not to use them. So that just went right out the window. Not literally out the window. It went 
right on Mercari. <laughs> so knowing what I know now, would I have paid $25 for these items? This is kind of a hard one for me because to be honest, I enjoyed the setting spray a lot. The lip oil is really nice and this I don't hate. So you know what? I probably would have paid 25 bucks for this. Would I have paid more than 25? I don't know, but I enjoyed these three enough where I would have paid 25. The brow gel, that can, that can suck a bag of dicks. Now let's go into this month's box. I am cutting it open like the savage I am. Okay, first I always try to look at the card if there is one. So the theme is sweet treats. It's an interesting theme for, for uh, April, right? Sweet treats, you would think, I mean, maybe that's Easter, but it's like macarons on there. I don't know. Okay. Looks cute. Looks like Candyland. And the box variation I have is C210-4040BA. I'm not going to look at the items. Let's go one by one. I feel some bubble wrap. It's exciting. The first item is okay. Okay. So I always try really, really, really hard not to see any spoilers for BoxyCharm, but if you watched my last Will I Buy It video, you'll know that I accidentally did see a spoiler. So this is it. This is the Natasha Denona Ayana palette. So this is the more neutral one. Okay, look at me, guys. Now I'm gonna turn into a cool tone neutral channel. Is that okay with you? This is really, really pretty though. So we have three matte shades. You have kind of a camel, a deep, deep chocolate brown and a good transition color. Then you have sort of a taupe color. It's like um, a satin, a shimmer taupe. And then you have a metallic, almost a green gray. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And these retail for $48. I love Natasha Denona quality so much that I can already tell you hands down, unless this is a dud, which it might be, this is probably going to make the whole box for me. And no matter what else is inside, I think I'm pretty, pretty damn pumped. I like this. And I'm also pretty glad I didn't get the other Natasha Denona palette, which I'll pop a picture of right up here. That one just looked like just not my vibe. I mean, it looks like it matches this vibe because it's, you know, pink and yellow and blue. Just not my thing, but this, that's real pretty. Okay, now I guess we can take the bubble wrap out. We won't get candle. Okay. <laughs> the next item is, this is by Studio Makeup and it's a tinted moisturizer formulated with hyaluronic acid. Okay, well I love a tinted moisturizer and I love hyaluronic acid. It does say that it's cruelty free here. This retails for $35. It's a tinted moisturizer with a light to medium coverage formulated with hyaluronic acid to combine hydrating skincare benefits with lightweight coverage and a glowy look. That sounds right up my alley, but I'm nervous about if the color tone is gonna be good for me. Let's see. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna be perfect, right? Per oh, it's got a nice little pump. I like that. Let's see what the color looks like. I'm nervous. Do they even have a color name on here? Is this all one color? I don't even see a color name anywhere on this. Okay, the color looks like it'll be great. That's really weird. I mean, I hope that they didn't just purchase one color. We'll see. So we are two for two with some pretty great things that I'm excited about. Okay, okay. The third item is massive. What is this? Terra de Mars, what is this? A body cleanser, okay. Um, this is cruelty free and vegan. Let's see, what are you? An organic, low foaming, aromatic and soft cleanser suitable for all skin types infused with bioactive ingredients such as coffee and rosemary. Those are my two favorite scents in the whole world. But anyway, coffee and rosemary extracts infusion with verbena oil. Together they tone, purify and protect the skin while aloe vera moisture moisturizes, nourishes, and softens it. So I can't use this on camera today. I'm not gonna take a shower on camera with all of you, sorry. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, I smell the rosemary. Oh, can I take this lid off? Nope, no, but it smells good, trust. I will report back on this, but wow, that's exciting. And this retails for $22, which is a little pricey for a body cleanser, but at the same time, it's a decent size tube. This is 5.07 fluid ounces. I'm not mad about it. Okay. And the next item is, all right, we have some lashes. These are by Flirtatious Looks. It says on here that they are cruelty free, uh, whether you're just transitioning into makeup or simply seeking an everyday comfortable glam lash, Baby Girl and Charmer are the perfect duo. Baby Girl, 
which is on the top, is an angled lash perfect for achieving the iconic cat eye effect, and Charmer is a round lash we created for an instant doll eye effect. Both are 100% silk and cruelty free. I'm always torn on silk and cruelty free, but I guess silk, it just means that it's not vegan. Mm, I don't know, $38. $38? And I have to admit, they kind of look like not great. You know what? I'm not going to use these. I'm sorry. I'm going to pass these on. Um, these just don't look like the kind of lashes I like. Even the flared out ones, they're okay, but they just don't look great to me. So, And also $38? No. Just buy some Ardell's. Get some Demi Wispies. Just go to Ardell and no. No, this is a no from me. And finally, the fifth item is by Eloise. It is a Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. Okay, so they are also cruelty-free and vegan. This is a non-sticky and lightweight luminizer that can be applied to all areas on the face and body for a dazzling, buildable glow. This transfer-proof formula is filled with ultra-sparkly reflex. Does that mean glitter? Because I don't want to glitter illuminator it's even it's not my vibe to radiate your skin $38 okay well we're we're gonna see so you know what guys we've got three items that I can try on camera today and it's all makeup this stuff is all makeup we do have one skincare thing this is a body cleanser I'm really excited so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and gather all the rest of the stuff I'm gonna need to create a look and I'll be right back Okay, I'm gonna prime my face using the Yenza Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. So this is probably the least glowy of all of my primers because I am a fan of really obnoxiously, obnoxiously glowing primers. But even though this one's called Essential Glow, you can see like there's a little bit of glowiness, but it's not anything extreme because I wanna see how glowy this tinted moisturizer is. All right, I know this is probably gonna gross a lot of you out, but I prefer to use tinted moisturizers with my hands. So I'm just gonna pump a very little bit on my fingers and let's see. Ooh, this is quite a thick tinted moisturizer. Wow. Okay, this is the second pump. Do you guys see literally any difference to my face at all? Because I kind of don't. It's kind of heavy. Like the reason I like a tinted moisturizer is because it's lightweight and this feels kind of heavy. It's definitely very tacky right now. So because it has hyaluronic acid, I wonder if I should have applied this to maybe a damp face. I'm gonna let this kind of sit for a minute before I do anything else. Yeah, I really just don't see much of a difference. I don't feel much of a difference. I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I've been using and really liking the Be Bright Concealer from Koki Cosmetics. Um, I don't use that much of it, but a little bit goes a very long way. There's like a little bit of a stickiness to this. Um, again, that might settle. There's a chance that might. But right now, I don't love the feel of it, considering that, like, it didn't do a whole lot for my skin, and I don't want to put on more. So we'll put that aside for now. Let's go into this Natasha Denona palette. I am very, very, very excited for this. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of speed through the eye tutorial, but I'll show you everything I'm using. liked how this performed. It performed beautifully on me. It performed like Natasha Denona shadows perform on me. I used four out of the five colors. You can see 
on the edges here. I'm not sure if you can see, but there was quite a bit of kickback, but these shadows are so pigmented. I'm not terribly surprised. There wasn't a fallout. There just was kickback in the pan, but let's go ahead and swatch the one shade that I didn't use. So look, look how metallic that is. Oh my, oh my goodness. That, okay, so that's beautiful. So this whole palette, I mean, that's a win for me. I'm going to use a little bit of the Ofra River Bronzer just to warm up my face a little bit. That's looking a little orange on me today. I wonder if that's the tinted moisturizer. Hmm. For blush, I'm just gonna use the cheek color from Merit Beauty. And this is in the shade Terracotta. All right, let's try this Eloise Body Illuminator. So apparently the color I have is called Champagne Rich. Whoo, okay. This is very gold and very sparkly. Danger, Will Robinson. All right, I am going to go into this. You know what, I'm not even gonna put it on my hand. I'm gonna put it on here. Okay, I took the teeniest amount and I'm gonna take it on my finger. And let's see. All right. All right, here are my thoughts. I will not wear this on my face again. This is very, very emollient, too emollient, I think, to wear on my face. But let's see how it looks like spread out maybe on my hand. So it definitely adds a glow to the skin and it's almost like a bronzy gold glow, very light bronzy. But the thing is, it almost feels like I'm rubbing a thin lip balm on my skin. It's a balm, that's what it feels like. It doesn't feel even like a liquid. Um, there's no way this is gonna set down. There's no way, but I mean, I have to still do my lips, so we'll see. I'm gonna hop off camera real quick, do my lips, and then we will talk about my first thoughts on all the items in BoxyCharm this month. Okay, I decided to just go for a lip liner and a gloss. Let's go over each of these items. So first of all, the Terra de Mars Body Cleanser, haven't used it yet. Smells lovely, I'm sure it's probably great. And again, this retails for $22. The Ayana palette from Natasha Denona, I love this. I absolutely love this. I think the look is so pretty. It's a nice kind of cool tone, neutral palette. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's Natasha Denona quality. This retails for $48. I paid $25 for the box. Do the math. The Tinted Moisturizer. Um, okay, so it's set down a little bit, but it definitely is still a little bit tacky and I don't really notice much of a difference in my skin at all, at all, at all. So I'm going to continue using this because I want to like this. There definitely was color when I pumped it on the back of my hand and when I spread it on my face. So maybe this is something where I should dampen my face first because there's hyaluronic acid or I don't know, a number of things. I wanna give this a few more shots. This is a $35 tinted moisturizer. Again, it's by Studio Makeup. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm a little hesitant about it, but we shall see. The Eloise Get Gleaming Body Glow. Right now, I don't love it. It's very sticky. It's very, very sticky on my face, um, like very sticky. It feels like a lip balm or a lip gloss. Um, so I really don't love that. Like it makes my face feel um, tacky and I'm not in love with that. I would rather have you think I'm tacky for many, many other reasons, but, but not this. Again though, this isn't something I want to throw away or get rid of or anything like that. I'm still gonna try it. I would like to even try this for summertime, like maybe if I need a little body glow or something like that, but if it stays this tacky, like on my hand, oh wait, I rubbed it off of my hand, so that doesn't count, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm not sold on this yet, and especially not for $38. Then we have the eyelashes. Again, I'm just kind of putting these aside. I'm not going to be using these. So knowing what I know as of right now, the first time using it, would I have paid $25 for all of this? Yes, 100%, 1000% yes, because of this palette. I still, like, I'm really curious about this because coffee and rosemary, those are my two cents. 
Um, and then this and this, we'll have to see. I'm gonna use them. I don't despise either of them yet, but I'm definitely not in love with them yet. So as always, I want you to let me know down below what you got in your box this month. Let me know, did you love it? Was it a dud? Are there items here that you know about? Like, do you know about this brand Terra de Mars or Eloise or Studio Makeup? Let me know all the details in the comments below. I always love when you guys fill me in. Oh my God, and I forgot to say it. Thank you guys for 7,000 followers on here. 7,000 subscribers. 7,000 of you are watching 7,000. That's a lot. So that's it. If you liked this video, I would love if you give it a thumbs up. I do put out these BoxyCharm reviews every single month, so it's a great time to subscribe. Also, I have several juicy videos coming next week. I have some boxes at my feet that you're gonna wanna see. I'm just gonna leave it at that. But that's it. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always, and forever, you are super freaking rock stars, and I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.